Since we began this journey in February of last year, more than half of the code in Lumberyard is brand new. I'm excited to introduce Lumberyard Beta 1.10 with more than 500 improvements. I'm Binky, your community manager. Let's take a look at some highlights. So we all know that rendering multiple transparent surfaces in games is hard. So with this latest update, we've introduced order independent transparency to help make it easier. So now you can render layers upon layers of transparent surfaces or ice cubes and glasses or wine glasses rendering in front of each other without all the distortion and weirdness. Jaggies. We've been fighting them for years in game development. And with this latest update, we've introduced temporal anti-aliasing to help smooth out imperfections in real-time rendering, bringing us closer to film-like pixel quality. And with the feedback and input from you, our community, this is our largest update to date. With over 50 cloud jump enhancements, 35 component entity workflow improvements, and materials editor performance increases, this is just the beginning. We really hope that you'll join us on this journey. You can head on over to lumberyard.amazon.com today and grab the latest update. I'll look for you in the forums. 